Hi dogs! Welcome back to my episode tutorial channel. I've been on Hades for more than 2 years in creating and continuing my episode stories. I've decided to be renewed and refreshed by recreating a decent episode interactive tutorials for you dogs. By this, I will remember how things work here in episodes, especially those advanced directing tutorials that I've posted here years back. So let's start the introduction by discussing of what Episode Interactive is about and why I enjoy staying here in this platform. Episode Interactive for me is an interactive gaming app that lets you create your own stories and be creative in your most extensive way possible. Find Episode Interactive as a really complicated platform for you should Firstly, know how things work on episode before starting your own stories. So let's start by logging in with your account. You can log in using your Google or Facebook account. I've registered using my Google account for it is the most accessible for my other accounts. Since this is an interactive app, you should already have an outline for your story. So let's start by adding a title to our story. You should think and remember that the title should be relevant and connected to the plot of your stories. And since this is a tutorial channel, I'll use Curly Top's tutorial as my title. After encoding the title, you will be redirected to managing your own stories. When you reach that page, episode will let you choose if what kind of style you want to use for your episode stories. The style selection will only be visible once you select the character button. This is an indication that you are starting a new story. There were three episode interactive character styles. The first style that went live is called Classic, followed by Ink and then Limelight. You should be critical in choosing your character style for you can never change your decision, it's permanent. Although I know an old trick that can merge all the character styles in one story. Of course, it's going to be my secret for now and it's really forbidden to use. I never really wanted to use classic style for this style and animation is a little bit scary for me. I've also grown to use ink style for a very long time but for our tutorials, we're going to use limelight. Limelight is the most recent style that the episode has created and it is kind of the most creative and realistic style there is. For me, it is much better to use or stick with the latest release style or Limelight for the releases more updated animations. Although back in my day, there were hidden animations that can be added or inserted in your stories, but these hidden animations only create bugs that will really affect your reader retentions. After choosing your character style, episode will let you choose your story format. There were two formats available which is cinematic, the complicated, and spotlight which is easy. Spotlight for me is very basic. The characters are shown one scene at a time. I think this is greatly used when you're starting a short story. But once you have selected the spotlight format, you will never have the chance to use the other formats. I still prefer to use cinematic format for it will grant you to learn more about the direct directing tools given by episode. So we're here to create my character. Curly will be your guide when it comes to complex tutorials. I have a very Asian features, so on episode, I prefer to use the features that I don't really have. I've created my character signature features the moment I started reading the feature stories on episode. And the moment I see her interacting, I fell in love with her. Customizing your characters doesn't mean you need to be particular in every aspect of your features. But you should be very careful that every character has a different story, especially on episode community. Ethnicity is a very sensitive topic. You really have to be very careful in adding or spicing up your character's features because it matters to your readers. But since it's just a story, it really shouldn't matter. But just be careful. 
the things you need in creating an interactive story are already provided in the website. You can just start by familiarizing yourself on what episode offers on their page. So let's start our new episode. So this is the script page that you will be working on when you started to create your story. The things in it will be emphasized onto the following tutorial video. So the basic things that are needed to be included here in the script page are the scene, scene page, animations, props, characters, outfits, backgrounds, overlays, weather effects, text effects, filters, and sounds. You should never forget about the dialogues and the story flow. We'll be going to discuss those on a separate video. It's really fun to create stories here on the episode. It's hard at first, but once you learn the basics, you're free to go. It's really fun to experiment different directing patterns. I'm very much excited for you me to see you grow in this community. And I'm really very happy to know that you wanted to start from the scratch. I am very eager to share all my knowledge about episode to you guys. If you have any requests or the things you need to know about episode, please comment down below. I will start making more tutorials after this clip. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Thank you! Thanks again! Bye!